Good night to you. I'm hoping you're having a fantastic day. It is a Tuesday. Uh, it's been a good week so far. We've just finished doing a couple of uh, marketing plans for our clients. So that's the reason why we're talking about the strategies we're going to be moving forward with in 2018. So if you're watching this, you are watching a replay of a very good video that uh, is going to help you market, scale and grow your business um, in 30 minutes. So hit the number two so that we also understand the kind of people that are watching our content right now because this video right now is being recorded live on Facebook and if you're catching this part, like I said, you're actually watching a replay. So that number two would just help us know, um, you know, who we're telling our content to and also if you're watching this on YouTube, please leave us a comment because then it would just help us um, understand who exactly is in our audience. So while we're waiting for the majority of the people to jump on on Facebook, I just want you to know that I viscerally believe that if you're an online business owner, your business has to be profitable and it has to be enjoyable. And I also believe that, um, you know, if you're that online business owner, you know, you should be able to create for and relate to your audience so that, um, you know, um, you know, they, they understand who you are and then they get to know you, like you and trust you. The reason why that is, is because people only do business with those that they know, like and trust. So those that are tuning in from YouTube, thank you. Thank you so much. I want you to just type in the comments and let me know where you are. Um, you know, tuning in from because at the end of the day, all you can do is all you can do, you know, and that's the reason why every day at 2 p.m. AEST, we sit around here so that we can actually help you and also, um, you know, aid my mission, um, you know, to help entrepreneurs like yourself to set up reliable and lucrative businesses that are actually profitable and enjoyable. So we utilize simple uh, strategies, most of which are derived from the online prosperity blueprint that is so aptly named that is designed to make your business profitable and enjoyable. So today's topic is a funny one and it's a very, um, you know, um, you know, one that a lot of people might want to avoid or one that a lot of people don't quite yet understand or think it's actually relevant. Your marketing strategy, especially moving on, um, you know, in, in 2018. All right. Those that are watching on YouTube right now, you'd understand that, um, you know, beginning of the year, January, February, you know, you're still overlapping from maybe the previous year's marketing strategies, but March, April is the time when, you know, the first quarter is almost coming to an end. And then you really want to see, have you gotten results? Have you gotten a return of investment on whatever um, strategies you've been utilizing? Or have you actually, um, you know, uh, gotten some sort of payback that um, is, is helping you have a, a business that is profitable and enjoyable? Now, right now, you might be wondering to yourself, um, have you done enough? Okay. Um, you know, when, when it comes to, to your marketing and I see Nicole has just tuned in. Thank you so much for tuning in. All right. And you might think you're doing enough. All right. But you obviously, um, you know, let's face it. Not a lot of us are actually getting the results that we were promised or the results that we actually want that would satisfy us in this online space. So this video is about the digital marketing trends that will actually explode your brand awareness and business in 2018 that we are also going to be utilizing moving forward. Because right about now, if you're not creating and crafting your own personal brand, then automatically you have a 50% chance of actually turning over a profit online right now because people are now doing business with people, all right? It's seldom that if you are not um, a, 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 an organization or a big, um, you know, company that was known prior, um, very few people are going to be doing business with you if they haven't heard of your name. So you really need to become omnipresent and become top of mind because out of sight, out of mind. People are now bloated with um, a lot of um, information and attention 
is now a currency. So you really want to make sure that you are being omnipresent within reason to those that are willing and able to actually purchase your product. So if you're watching this uh, video right now, can you just type in um, where you are tuning in from? That just gets me to understand, you know, the level um, of reach that we have and also the people that are actually watching and those that are actually paying attention. All right. So I'm also going to say that the viewers um, expressed in this video are of a general nature, all right? Because some people would want to take some of the things that we're saying verbatim and then, you know, want to start sending us weird letters saying that because of you, our business went kaput, all right? But all I want to tell you right now is 2017 called and they want their marketing back, all right? The reason why I'm saying this is the, the, the whole digital landscape has become vivacious, has become like molten lava in as much as um, if, if you don't move in fast and grab whatever is present, by the time you start business in the morning, you probably have a different strategy end of business, that strategy is already, um, you know, no longer useful or it has already been um, oversaturated that you can't even reach your own audience. So if you would also indulge me and actually acknowledge right now that online marketing or the digital landscape that we actually know right now, it has changed a great deal over the past few years, over the past few months, over the past few days. All right. Today I was actually reading, um, you know, um, you know, because I always try and then and, and put myself above, above, uh, you know, ahead of the curb. First of all, Facebook in the last two months had introduced what is called a separate um separate news feed for pages. It was called the discovery, discovery page. I don't know how many people saw that. If you saw that discovery uh, sort of side of Facebook, can you type in the number one? When I woke up this morning, they were axing that part. They were taking it off. So it's no longer relevant to them. And they are now trialing out, um, you know, uh, mass, um, mass, mass, mass messaging on messenger all right so it is something that you really want to be looking out for if you're a digital marketer or if you're a marketer where you your your whole product or your service depends on you reaching out to as many people as possible and just spamming people i know there's a lot of businesses that thrive on that so that could be something that excites you but not from us that actually want to give value i see ahmed has just tuned in thank you so much for tuning in so like I was saying, the paradigm has, has shifted a great deal and um, you would understand that what worked for you last year is actually not going to work for you this year. So many things are changing every single day. Every time I wake up, something new has come up on the on the, on the news feed and, and it has to be acknowledged, etc, etc. I see uh, Luke has just tuned in. Thank you so much, my man. Hope you're having a fantastic day there. And you were also talking about things that are changing within the real estate industry yesterday, whereabouts McDonald's is now uh, taking on, um, you know, um, you know, properties, etc, etc. A lot of stuff is also changing in the digital front and and expect a lot more changes. So if you're not agile, if you don't have a strategy and if you don't have a backbone, you if you don't change, um, you're just going to be left out there in the open. Some people might say, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm good with what I'm doing. I'm content with the stuff that I'm putting out there. But your audience is already being saturated with those changes in as much as they now expect it from you so much that they actually are going to be demanding for you to be, do and have the same sort of strategies, um, you know, that, 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 that are needed for you to actually provide a service to them or to reach out to them. Now, Luke Moroni says McDonald now involved in high rise development. Well, absolutely. They need more space for all the people they're fattening <laughs> so that they all live just um, close to, to, to McDonald's and they don't have to worry about going elsewhere. It is a strategy on their part. I see SM has just tuned in. What's going on, brother? Hope you're having a fantastic day right there. So like I was saying, guys, the paradigm has shifted. And what was working last year, do you know what I mean? Might not work this year or is not working at all. You really got to figure out, is your business, um, you know, running or operating around the three M's that it needs for it to survive? 
that you've got a message that is going to a particular market and the media that you're going to use can change, can vary, or the ways that you reach um, that market with your message can always change, you know? Because what got you to this point, you know what I mean? The, the point where you are in your business right now won't get you to where you want to be. And it is your job as an entrepreneur to, to keep up with this change. Some people do not like change, but change is the only constant that we have, um, you know, within, within our own business spectrum. And the way things are changing so much, you literally have to run fast in order to stand still. I'm going to say that again, just like a duck that is pedaling all the way uh, just so that it looks gracefully on top there. There's so many moving parts that need to be fixed, so many um, you know, loose ends that need to be tied together in order for you to have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. And that's the reason why I'm going to be marshalling all the changes. I'm going to be helping you out so that you understand and see that you know, not only are you missing out on what your audience is already exposed to, but you also really really need to step up um, of your game and actually be involved in running a business that's actually profitable and enjoyable. Now, Luke says, true, down the lift, fuel with fats <laughs> and back up the lift to crush on the couch. Absolutely. Because if they are providing a place for their audience to, to reside, obviously, at the end of the day, that audience is going to pay allegiance to whoever is, is treating them well. So they, they have a strategy there. It is a really good strategy, you know? Um, and you as a business person, whatever leads you might be bringing in, whatever sales you might be bringing in, or whatever customers that you might be attracting, those are the lifeblood of your business. If you are not going to create a platform for them to actually thrive on and also learn off of, you might be missing out on what your competition might be doing. And it's no longer enough for you to just create one single marketing uh, funnel and expect, you know, to get a return of your own investment. Because guess what? Your audience is now very clever to that. It's like when you go fishing. Every time you go fishing in the same spot, when, when fish see that all the other fish are just biting on a worm and not coming back, they get clever, all right? So that's why you have to continuously move because once you awaken the fish and let them know that behind that worm is a hook, they get clever. So your ability this day and today to actually create leads or, or close them comes down to actually building trust and a lot of intimacy with those that actually need what you got to serve. Do you know what I mean? And then when you have that platform, you have asked for permission. It's called a permission asset, which is either your blog, videos like this, or whatever website platform that you have, which allows you the permission to sell. It's no longer an, a, an opportunity that just because you've got a product, just because you've got a service, you can now just sell to people without having done something for them. And that's the reason why McDonald's is now building houses and uprises so that they can actually nurture their leads, nurture their people that are going to be constantly and continuously purchasing from them. You know, you need to be always, you know, co co convincing them that you are the most relevant choice because that's what your audience now has a whole lot of. They have a lot of choice. Back in the days, you could tell people, oh, yes, this is the best book. This is the best website. This is the best company. But now people can actually look that up on their own. Do you know what I mean? They have so much choice. So you really want to make sure that you are top of their choice. And how do you do this? You become omnipresent. You become top of mind. And you can do this by actually paying close attention to what is your customers need right now, who are they paying attention to and who are they listening to and what are they buying? I see Adam Fajic has just tuned in. Thank you so much, um, you know, for, 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 for tuning in right now. At the end of the day, it's not just being omnipresent and being, um, you know, in your customer's face. You also have to be relevant. You also have to be relevant. So relevancy wins the war. 
It's no longer just about collecting the most email addresses because in 2016 and 2017, it, the, the, the war was about who's got the fattest, biggest, you know, email list. But these days, it's about those with the biggest lists, you know, you know, in, in that time, they used to dominate the niche because everybody was listening to them. But it's not how people are working in 2018. There's a lot of email blockers. There's a lot of ad blockers on, on, on the, you know, um, you know, what do you call it? Chrome, um, web, web, web browsers and stuff like that. You know, people now crave a lot of intimacy. People now just want things that are relevant to them and people that see things in their own eye worldview. So if you're not relevant to your audience, if they don't see that you're going to help them because you are not actually helping them, then you're always losing the battle right there. In 2018, moving forward, relevancy will win the war. So if you want to increase your profit this year, 2018, it isn't about creating the biggest amount of leads or filling up your pipeline. It's about really connecting with your audience with greater intimacy and relevance. Because if people don't know who you are, they're not going to give you attention. And the more you don't have attention, the more you are irrelevant within the marketplace. And that hurts, my friend. Do you know what I mean? So whatever leads you have, whatever email addresses you might have, you need to be able to provide the right kind of solution to the people with the right kind of pain that are willing and able to pay for your solution. So it's to the right people at the right time, at the right moment. I see Tanya Lacey has just tuned in. Thank you so much for tuning in. All right. So like I was saying, attention has become the new currency. Who is paying attention to your work right now? Who misses you when you're gone? When you don't show up on, on social or whatever way you, you, you show up to your audience, do people say they've missed you? Because if you're not getting any of that, then that means you're not relevant within your, your audience. And, and it's only a matter of time up until nobody starts paying attention to you. You know? So right now, even if there's two people, three people watching you, make sure you are giving them the your full attention. You're no longer, you know, expected to, to please everybody else out there. You know what I mean? And uh, look, you're talking about attention game and loving my patience. Absolutely. Patience is actually a virtue. And I remember we were talking the other day about how to increase patience. When your goals are really, you know, set out, and you've got people that hold you accountable, it'll be easy for you to be very, very patient because you know you really want to achieve those goals. So like I was saying, attention is now the new currency. And if you're not capturing the right attention in 2018, you lose your ability to actually compete without spending um, you know, a lot of money uh, on advertising or other online marketing. So what's the point in you throwing away a lot of money when people are not even paying attention to your ads in the first place? Because attention, you know, is getting more and more expensive right now. People watching your videos, people commenting on your stuff, people sharing your content, you know, because because businesses now have an easier access to to every other individual on the market, meaning that right now it's more important than ever to actually make sure that you are retaining that attention that you actually capture. Don't abuse the attention that people are giving it to you because that's the most valuable currency that you could ever have. Right now, everybody in the marketplace is bloated with messages, with adverts, you know, but they're starved of significance. Now, people will pay attention to something that's new, something that's helpful and something that is relevant to them at that particular time of their journey. So it's really, really important, um, you know, opportunity for you because as soon as you capture somebody's attention, you've also captured their loyalty and you've also captured their wallet because people do business with those they know, like, and trust. And if somebody has paid attention enough to you, it's only a matter of time up until they open up their wallet. So it's no longer a whole bunch of about, you know, getting the most likes, getting the most um, you know, email addresses or spreading your marketing further and further just for the sake of it. You know, you have to spread it to the right people at the right time and make the most of the time that you have with the people because attention is now very expensive. The moment you capture it, make sure you keep most of it. And I see Luke says, I like it. 
Attention is getting more and more expensive. It will increase when large companies fully get on social. Well, absolutely. And they are already starting to get on social because, you know, they, they, they're a little bit slow. The dinosaur companies are slow to take on uh, stuff to do with um, social. But guess what's going to happen? Look, you know, the ad spend is going to start rising. You know, the, the reach of, um, of um, you know, um, adverts is going to be so expensive for the small business player to, to work around. So right now, you've got this opportunity to reach your audience with your voice, connect with them as a person, you know. And then people really crave for that. People really crave for that. Look at what, um, I don't know, you might hate him or you might like him. What's his name? Ty Lopez, here in my backyard or whatever. I've been watching that kid for a while. Not kid, but man now, you know what I mean? You might love him or you might hate him, but he's mastered a specific skill because he now appears everywhere. You know, he appears everywhere. He's like omnipresent. So his ability to actually reach um, a lot of people at, 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 at the same time, he's spent a lot of money to get that, but he's got their attention now. You know, he's got their attention now. So what does that mean? One platform is no longer enough. Because the, the, the audience that is watching you on Facebook is not the same audience that visits your YouTube. It's not the same audience that likes your pictures on Instagram. I'm not saying be everywhere and be and spread yourself thin, but there's certain things that you can actually do. Like if you have a solid Facebook strategy, which involves a, a, a Facebook live, you would want to maintain that. Take some of those videos and repurpose that content. All right. Like this video is being shown live on YouTube as we speak. It's also going to be put parts of it on, on LinkedIn and then from there parts of it on Instagram. But it's still the one video. So you don't have to spread yourself too thin. Because right now, if you think you're dominating a, a, a single platform, that's not enough. You need to think again on that strategy. Because your, your leads, like I've said, the ones that are on Facebook are not the same people on YouTube. Those that are on YouTube are totally different to the ones that go on LinkedIn. And if you are an entrepreneur, this is a million dollar advice that I want you to pay attention to. If you are not searching for a job, Turn your, your LinkedIn profile from a CV into a sales letter. All right. You need to turn your LinkedIn profile from a CV, a, a resume into a sales letter because you're not looking for work right now. So as soon as somebody jumps onto your LinkedIn profile, make sure you're already trying to maybe convince them to either get onto your platform that you can now get permission from them to actually sell them or send them emails. So figure out how you can do that, make it into a landing page so that it's actually also helping you instead of you telling us what school you went to because nobody really cares about whether you did your A's or B's or D's or C's at a, at a, at a Porsche school. People need to know what you can do for them, what's in it for them. So you wanna do that. If you can use that strategy, it will change the way you use LinkedIn from now on. Because every time somebody sees your profile or you see somebody else's profile, it will actually start selling to them even when you're not there, you know? So in the past, it used to be very expensive and time consuming, uh, but these days it's really, really simple. Use video. You can use this video into a blog post, you can make it into an in-depth article. You can swap it into a podcast. You can also interview other people so that they can also help you with the content, you know, structure. And, and in turn, what you then do is then repurpose all of that content into maybe like an email series or social media posts that people actually use. You know, and I see Melissa Medwick has just tuned in. Thank you so much. Hope you're having a fantastic day right there. And also you can then chop it up into like, Yes, you can chop it up into micro videos that you can use over and over and over again. All right. So if your marketing hasn't changed from 2017, 2016, you're literally missing out because let me tell you something. Your audience is also being exposed to other marketers. And if they don't see it or if they don't see that movement or that growth um, within your work or with whatever you are doing, they're probably just going to think that you, you know, you, 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 you're not yet ready and you don't want people to think that way about you, you know, you know, 
And the way that people have been setting up their businesses lately is have a website and just have one marketing funnel, um, you know, that that is supposed to have like tripwires in there. I want to tell you 2018 things have changed now because you cannot build a single marketing funnel and that just takes your audience through a predefined sort of step by step process anymore that people are now used to that and they can see it from a mile away. They are on to you. Like I was saying, if you're a fisherman and, and you know, you're fishing in the one spot, all the other fish will start noticing that everybody that goes for that worm is not coming back. So we shouldn't touch that hook, that, that worm, because there's a hook inside, you know, because now your audience is on to you. They are also bloated with emails. They don't want to just sign on to something that's just going to, you know, bombard them with, um, you know, uh, endless email uh, emails that they don't want. They've been in dozens and dozens of marketing funnels like this already. They can tell where this whole thing is going. So you need to stand out. And the way you can do this is you, you need to turn your marketing funnel into some sort of an experience. All right. Build it into a real significant experience that they can walk in, touch things, look at things, be exposed to real help instead of you just giving them small things to bait them to come closer. They need significant trust. You know, all of those things like, you know, the scarcity um, and what do you call it? Countdown timers. All of those things no longer work. All right, unless it's a whole different market altogether, but your average customer in 2018 already knows that if it's a webinar, there's enough seats on the webinar. How can you have a full webinar? It's a digital product for crying out loud. Instead, you really need to feed your audience with relevant content at the right time. So that means you need to know what your audience is going through and so that you are the relevant person to give them that information based on your current awareness of who they are and the engagement that they're offering to you. You know, this is the only way you can build trust. And like I said earlier on, people do business with those that they know, like and trust. And their trust is what you need for you to actually make this year your best year yet. Because if they don't trust you, you don't get their attention. And you, there's no way you can sell to them. You know? So at the end of the day, there's so much that you could be doing. Focus on your personal brand. Focus on how you can be omnipresent. Because not a lot of people are visiting the same platforms and seeing the same content. So brand awareness really has to be your biggest play because people do business with those they know, like, and trust. And that is going to be a constant in 2018. It used to be enough to just focus on your ad spend, on, on, on lead generation and sales, but not anymore. You could sell to the same people, but if your product depends on you finding new people, you have to build that trust over time. And a lot of people, like my clients that I'm working with, they're getting the greatest success if, the, if they're focusing um, a large amount of, of their strategy on personal branding and also increasing their brand awareness. You know, I'm not to say that, you know, stop creating new leads or that it's not important or relevant anymore because it is. I mean, sales are the lifeblood of your business, but you must also be nurturing that audience, not just simply selling to them. You know what I mean? So you need to become, first of all, top of mind, like I mentioned. And you also, you don't want to be forcing, um, you know, sales onto your, your, your audience every single time that they, 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 they say hi to you. It does take a lot of time to build trust so that you become the go-to expert that people now actually crave to see. So your only focus right now, um, I mean, if your focus is just on building lead generation, you're going to continue to spend a lot of money because if people don't understand who you are or know who you are, that money is going to be dead money, you know? So try and be present, you know, repurpose your content and just make sure that you are being relevant when needed because that is what the audience is now craving and actually missing in the marketplace. Okay, so all of this... It's stuff that you can do while utilizing the content section of the blueprint where you engage your audience, educate them, inspire them while positioning yourself as the go-to expert, like I said, and providing value. 
All right. If you need a copy of this or see how it actually works or see how you can plug this into your business, yeah, just type in the words blueprint and I'll definitely shoot you through um, a copy of this. And if you have any questions pertaining to this video today, um, you know, about your relevancy, about um, how to, to increase the attention in the marketplace and how to actually be, do and have a business that's profitable and enjoyable, just let me know or send me an inbox and I'll be more than happy to help you out because, I mean, obviously right now, all you can do is all you can do, you know what I mean? And if... If, if you can't reach out to an audience that's willing and able to actually buy your services, your business is probably not going to exist past 2018. I really hope that we get to see you throughout the year and make 2018 the best year um, of your business so far. In the meantime, like I said, let's continue the conversation in the bottom. Those that are watching on YouTube, Asante Sana, thank you so much. And those that are watching on Facebook, please share this if you found value in this and at the end of the day, let's all try and help each other figure out how we can, um, you know, um, support each other, maybe with partnerships or whichever way. I'm more than happy to open up um, my, my, my business to those people that are actually going somewhere and that are actually relevant. Let's continue this conversation in the bottom. In the meantime, enjoy the rest of your day, guys.